My grease gun does not dispense. What should I do? A common question received by our tech department, and more often than not, contamination accounts for most of the causes behind this question. This can occur in units used daily as well as units used once or twice a season. In either case, solids and debris accumulate over time. Whether it is dirt introduced accidentally during a cartridge change, or contaminated bulk source, or even the lubricant itself separating, these cause the unit to lose performance. Remember that grease guns are used in many environments. Dirty, dusty, hot and cold are commonplace. The grease inside the tube assembly is under constant pressure. This, in conjunction with temperature changes, speeds up the separation process. You may see oil slowly seeping out of your gun if it sits for an extended amount of time or was stored in a hot environment such as a hot vehicle or warm room. The base oil, thickeners, and additives will separate under these conditions, with the additives and thickeners settling in the passages along with any debris accumulated during use. The oil finds the path of least resistance out of the unit. If you are using a cartridge, this leak path is typically between the cartridge lip and the tube assembly. The cartridge lip is a seal. This inner tube edge and the outer cartridge edge must be kept clean and undamaged, and the tube assembly firmly tightened to achieve a proper seal. Otherwise, leakage will continue. The oil is the primary lubricating property the grease is trying to carry into the bearing or lubrication point. If left unused for too long, the grease integrity may be compromised due to excessive oil loss and require replacement. These cycles will lead to loss of pressure as well as dispensing volume loss in a grease gun. In many cases, a simple cleaning eliminates the problem, so let's walk through the process. As contamination is the primary suspect in grease gun failures, we recommend removing and properly disposing of any partially used cartridges or bulk lubricant. Never reuse remove lubricant under these circumstances or unit may become contaminated once again. The main area to examine and clean out is the outlet check valve behind this closure plug, or on premium units in and around the inline check assembly. Most of the action occurs in this area and the piston chamber, so regular cleanouts are recommended. If you notice reduced performance but are in a rush, a quick field cleanup may get you by for a bit until a full service can be performed. Remove the grease tube assembly, flip the head over, and clean out the cavity. Next, fill the head cavity with either transmission fluid, mineral spirits, or your favorite penetrating oil. Then cycle this fluid through. It will help break up some of the debris and expel it from the unit, which is usually enough to get you going, but in some cases may still require a full disassembly and cleaning. For a full service cleaning, remove any remaining grease from the head cavity. Fully disassemble the head unit by removing the whip hose or extension and check assembly. The coupler may also be disassembled as well for cleaning and inspection. Use mineral spirits and nylon bristle brushes to thoroughly scrub the internal passages of the grease gun head to remove any built up solids that may block the passages or hold the ball check open. The check ball may need to be reseated in the head cavity which is accomplished with a light tap on the ball against the freshly cleaned check seat. After the cleaning process is finished, reassemble the unit but leave the whip hose or rigid extension off the outlet for an initial priming sequence to prevent an airlock situation. Once grease gun is primed, reattach the hose or extension with the coupler removed. Again, cycle the unit to purge the hose or rigid extension of contaminants or old lubricant. Reinstall the coupler after fresh lubricant begins dispensing out the open end. The rigid extension rarely needs to be replaced, however, whip hoses are prone to blockages if excessive or large debris is introduced. Should dispensing be difficult or impossible with the hose attached, do not attempt to reverse flush the hose or run a wire through to clear out the blockage. Safest option to avoid hose damage or injury is to replace it with a new one. To reduce chances of a buildup, always fill the unit in a clean environment to prevent any debris from entering the dispensing chamber. Always use a good quality grease and monitor use to prevent lubricant from remaining in the gun for too long. If the gun is to sit idle for an extended amount of time or subjected to harsh conditions, we recommend to remove the grease cartridge or bulk loaded grease after the job is finished. Clean out the dispensing chamber, then store the unit empty in a cool dry place until use is required again. Store the cartridge with both ends covered with the grease gun until next use. This prevents any contamination or leak issues from occurring while unit sits idle. If you have any questions about the topic shown today, please contact our technical support staff or local area representative for assistance. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.